Hey yo, welcome back to ready. Get ready, get ready. Welcome back to Book. The longest in the east and the widest in the west. I don't know, that doesn't really roll off the tongue. But welcome back to Book, the No Homo Ranger. <laughs> we we're this episode we're gonna be making the legendary gun. And uh, that's pretty much all we're gonna do in my five one or two bosses. Uh, not gonna be a long episode. But uh, I'm telling you now, I don't know what episode we're on. Just put this number in your head. 20. Episode 20, okay? Just let that linger in your mind until we reach it. But yeah, we got to go gather all the stones needed to craft the Book's Bullet Hell. Which, if we bring it up here. Oh, shoot. Um, We're going to fight Skeletron this episode if we can. I killed Skeletron during a live stream. So I'd recommend, it's, I think, the third live stream of the series. So I would recommend if you want to watch us fight Skeletron, go on my uh, Twitch and then go in the videos on my Twitch and you can watch the stream of that back. But uh, yeah, I think this episode we're just going to fight bosses we fought already. Uh, I'm going to attempt either Skeletron and then either Granite Energy Storm or Jensen uh, bosses we fought. And then we'll have a bunch of new bosses in the next episode, something like that. But yeah, as you can see here, we need the Shrine of Legends. This is Shrine of Legends. Because we need this to craft the legendary weapons. And then we need illegal gun parts. Stone of evil. We have stone of evil. We have illegal gun parts. Now all we need now is the stone of death. Stone of overgrowth. And stone of fire. So uh, let's start Let's start with this one. Okay. We're going to go to dungeon. Now I didn't need to kill Skeletron to do this. But you know. It's always nice to be uh, safe. Then sorry. But look. I could have just came down here. Boom. Easily. Easily could have got it. But, uh, you know, we also needed something to do. Is that our callus? I can't tell. But, uh, it's always, like I said, always better to be safe than sorry. I really like how Juice has ha had these generated to where they're painted a different color. And it always looks cool as hell. Because who doesn't love things that are painted a different color? Hey, shout out to uh, Grognak. This is going to be a weapon he's probably going to use. It's not that fast. Not that fast right now. You can upgrade it. But uh, let's go ahead and sell this. We don't need it. Might as well get some silver for it. And boom. There is the Stone of Death. Grants the Night Owl buff. So these all give you buffs if you get them. Which I didn't even know. I had no idea. Should we just place them right here for now? <laughs> We're going to place them right there. Just have them chilling right there. Uh, yeah, let's put the torch. Right I don't know. Let's do that. Um, So next we're going to need the... The fire one? Stone of Fire? I think do I hit every button but the one I needed to stone of fire and stone of overgrowth I know where both of these are thanks to live streaming I found them well actually no I think I did find both of them during live streams but we're gonna go down and we do fall extremely fast due to the fact that we have an armor set that makes us specifically fall faster which is beautiful but yeah back to what I was talking about with Skeletron earlier so if you notice there's like meteors falling out of the sky when you kill Skeletron this is a little buff right here that we can't read because the Enigma mod is over. In Furnace's... Stop. In Furnace's Wrath. Uh, meteors rain from the sky. Defeat in Furnace to stop this effect. That's so cool. I don't know about you guys. That game, that's not even that cool of a feature. It's unique, but it ain't that cool. That's so cool that a mod creator would even think of something like that. And excuse me if I'm overhyping it. What am I standing on? Y'all seen that? What was I standing on right there? It, I couldn't drop down. Okay, we're gonna kill ourselves. Actually, dude, trying to fix that up. Grants warmth buff while placed or in inventory. Oh shit, you get it while placed too? I didn't even know that either. But yeah, there's a stone of fire. Boom, add it to the list. Next, we need the stone of overgrowth. So let's quickly heal. Boom. Wait, we kill Skeletron, so this guy sells stuff. He sells this. It's not that good of a weapon. It's okay. If you're looking at my inventory and I have a couple new weapons, it's because of the live stream. I'd recommend you'd watch them either live or watch them when they're not live. I don't know. It's your choice. But uh, we got this murderous assault rifle, which is an AK, and it's like a weaker version of the clockwork assault rifle. As you can see, it's not bad. It's not the greatest either. But uh, And then we also have this, the Firestorm Cannon from Calamity. Just a fun, unique weapon to use. Not the most practical weapon. It's got the burst shot. Ah! It's got the burst shot, and then it's got the you know machine gun shot. 
Okay, let's get to the jungle. Because we need to get that stone of overgrowth. Here we are. We got the stone of overgrowth added to the collection. Thank you, sir. What is this one doing? Grant swiftness buff while placed during an inventory. Sweet. All right. So let's take all four of these. Boom, boom, boom. And we got to craft it somewhere where it just has a nice presence, you know? Somewhere that has a lot of meaning to the orcs. The dungeon. You may ask why. Watch uh, season one or season two. First character, David. Wait, I'm missing gun parts. That's all I need, right? Just legal gun parts? I'm assuming. I'm just going to guess that's all I need. I hope I have extra. Okay, good. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to save that one specifically for this. There it is. Boots. Bullet. Hell. I don't know if it registered all the bosses we killed killed already on this character towards his damage. We'll figure out in due time. I'll probably be told by Juice in due time. But uh, we finally got it. We're a couple episodes in the series, but like we got it. That's all that matters. Oh my god. Oh, I'll be honest. I rarely have used this thing ever. I think I used it like once or twice when I actually picked it up from another playthrough. But this, this is insane. And we have a speed up too. Oof. Who's gonna get? Who's gonna get it? Just plain and simple. How do I fight Skeletron again? <laughs> I, I really don't know how. How do I fight Skeletron again? I don't have Fargo's mutants here. Fargo's mutant here, so I can't just be like, hey, let me fight Skeletron. No, no. Whoa. What does right clicking do? I didn't even read this. So, crazy gun contraption of the legendary book. Does more damage as you kill bosses throughout the game. Fires a crazy amount of bullets. Right click to fire arrows. Yo, that's going through my arrows too quick. God damn. So I think what we're going to do, we're just going to try and fight Jensen. Because I have no idea. There's no like things popping into my mind how to spawn in Skeletron. Uh, we're going to fight Jensen. I don't remember how. There's a peace offering we can make. Or, or we can just make the Feather Talisman. I don't get... What's the difference between the two? We'll just make the feathers talisman, obviously. But, uh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's hope we can. Oh, it's not nighttime yet. But peep this. There's, a. Uh, I was looking at all the NPCs, seeing if any of them sold anything that spawned in Skeletron. And this guy right here, he sells the horrifying skull. But it says, summons the mightiest enemy, which I'm assuming is the dungeon guardian. <laughs> which we, I don't think we'd want to fight that. Uh, this guy sells this too. 25 gold though. I might just, it might just be better to wait, honestly. Just to wait for the merchant to sell it. We'll see. Maybe if I can rack up a little bit more gold, it wouldn't be too bad. But, uh, for now, I'm good. <laughs> you could, you could keep your money. Maybe, nah, I already talked to the druid. I don't think she sells anything. Yeah, none of this looks like it's for Skeletron. Sadly. Yeah, nothing. Alright, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. What about... What do you even sell at all? Nothing. Something, some living glitter. Wow. So fucking cool, aren't you? <laughs> Alright. Can we do this now? Is it not nighttime? The nighttime sky is out. You can't tell me it ain't nighttime. Yo, y'all seen my thing? The soul stone is different now. Have y'all noticed that? Oh, wait. I guess I did update the Enigma mod. Now that I think about it. I thought it was like leveled up. Oh, I didn't think you'd summon it. Okay. It's go time. I don't know if this is useful. As useful as it can be. I think it'll definitely be useful when we can get some chlorified bullets. I guess def it's definitely going to be really strong chlorified bullets. Why if I just like get as close as possible? You think it's more effective? I think it's going to be hit more as what it's doing. Hold up, let's use this. Use this just to get some flames on it. Is she even getting hit by the dot? Yeah, she is. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're chilling. Just keep doing this. It's like I'm I'm rarely gonna miss. So if I just if I just do this whole time, we're fine. We chilling. Jensen don't stand a chance. Yeah, does anybody know the difference between the peace offering and the uh the other way to spawn her? What's the other way to spawn her? What is the other way to spawn? Feather talisman. I don't know the difference. I've tried the peace offering before, but 
Every time I try and use a peace offering, I always feel like I'm missing something. Because I've tried to do it multiple playthroughs. Well, this is where Banger comes in. Look how different she looks. Hold on, I want a picture of her in this form. That'd be, uh, that'd be cool looking. Because look at her, she's like pink and green. She got like glowing eyes and stuff. It's pretty crazy. Okay, if we hit 300 health, I'm going to use my other healing. Which is the glowing souffle. But we should be good. I don't know. I don't think we're going to reach any like critical. Oh, fuck. Spoke too soon. Yeah, I can't wait till we get glorified bullets. It makes my life so much easier when we get glorified bullets. Uh, less aiming? Who doesn't love less aiming? Okay. Let's let's try aiming a little bit here though. Try and use this because this does hit harder. But look, it's really hard to hit. I don't know if it's worth it. Hard to hit versus like hitting often? I don't know. So if I hit often, I don't know. DPS versus just damage. I might have to unload with damage for a second because we can land like three shots. I don't know because if we do hit a burst shot from the AK, it's like you're doing a lot of damage because it's a burst shot. You can land up to two shots right there versus you know, <laughs> how many, however many of those I'm in. But uh, boom, she's dead. Flight feather taking off all damage and glide to safety. Is it material for something? Jensen's talisman allows flight. That might, be, that might be really good to get early game. Uh, like right when we enter hard mode. Queen's Rose. So there's a harpy gun. Oof. I don't know if I have harpy feathers. Like regular ones. Damn, we got 71 gold. Yeah, I don't have regular harpy feathers. But I do want to show that weapon off. So I'm going to do that. And then we'll end this episode off. So let me go grab some beautiful feathers. Alrighty, McDikey. No, that, I'm never going to say that again. I'm sorry. Uh, let's go ahead and craft feather. Fuck, this one was called. Uh, I don't know what it's called then. So we got to look again. Boom. Harpy gun. Close enough, right? Harpies have feathers. So it should have came up. I was. Wait, what the hell? I swear I clicked on the blue one. And because the green the green one came up, or the storage came up. No, I'm confusing myself. What do I need to craft this? Oh, I need sky mill. But yeah, I clicked on the blue one, but then this came up. So I'm like, oh, I clicked on the wrong one. So I clicked on the green one again, and this came back up again. That shit got me all confused. Here we go again. Harpy gun. What an interesting name. Let's hear this thing in action, though. Ready? Oof. It's a little bit lackluster. I thought it was going to be a little bit better than that. Uh, let's go ahead and reforge it, then. Let's see what we get. Weak. Sluggish. Staunch. It's like, damn, you're fucking staunch. <laughs> Who the heck uses staunch in a sentence? All right. Uh, we need something crazy, man. Like, damage-wise. Oh, no, no, no. We're wasting money right now. Okay, boom. But yeah, let's try out this feather gun on an enemy. Any enemy at this point. Come on. Just like one enemy is all I need. Just just one. I know there's a lot of sunflowers over here. But just like a slime or something would be useful. Just literally just one enemy. It doesn't even have to be a hostile enemy. It just has to have health. There we go. Wolfram drone. Come here, boy. Okay, okay. Not bad, but a Wolfram drone is a pretty early enemy in the game. So, you know, any gun can do that. Let's get something a little bit tougher. A little bit tougher. Here we go. I mean, there's not really anything special. Does it do anything special? Shred your enemy with feathers. It is a material, though. Ooh, Royal Harpy gun. See, that looks way cooler. But, uh, yeah, we're going to end this episode off here. Might have been short, but, uh... I don't really have time. I got work tomorrow. I had work today, so I couldn't even get it out today, which was the day I wanted to get this out. But, uh, yeah. We will be back to our regularly pro program schedule. Episode 20. Keep it in your mind. Autismo probably popped up on the screen somewhere and said something about it. But, yeah. See, ya. see, see, see you next time.